गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वी विल स्टार्ट सेक्शन फाइव आर्टिकल टू सो डेंसिटी वेरिएशन डेंसिटी ऑफ द रेडियोग्राफ एनी वेयर थ्रू द एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट चल रहा वेरी मोर देन माइनस फिफ्टीन परसेंट और प्लस थर्टी परसेंट फ्रॉम द डेंसिटी थ्रू द बॉडी ऑफ द डेजिग्नेटेड होल टाइप आई क्यू आई एडजेशन टू द एसेंशियल होल और एडजेशन टू द एसेंशियल वायर ऑफ ए वायर डायमीटर आई क्यू आई and exceeds the minimum maximum allowable density ranges specified in this and calculating the allowable variation density the calculation may round it to the nearest point one within the range specified so 282.1 what is telling limitations So 1.8 to 2 for X-ray source, uh, 1.8 to 4, and 2 to 4 for gamma ray source, and for composite wing 1.3. Maximum is for 4. Tolerance of 0.05. density is allowed for variation between density meter reading plus minus 0.05 but when you go for aws it is 1.6 then uh, and there is there also 1.3 and there is another thing is there so 2.6 is when you see composite it is 2.6 so that is that is what uh, the minimum so aw said that is the difference and what are the difference here okay if a light image of b in aw if a light image of b as described in appears as a darker background the back scatter image if the lighter image there then it is protection from back scatter is insufficient and the radiograph shall be considered unacceptable a dark image of the b in a lighter background is not cause dejection but aws d1.1 that is also if it is dark image also it is rejected so there are uh, difference so techniques uh, details Documentation requirement vertical identification dimension map marker placement in accordance with this number of exposure X-ray voltage isotope type use source size base material type and thickness weld thickness weld reinforcement thickness as applicable source to object distance D base material type and thickness weld thickness weld reinforcement thickness source to object distance the distance from source side to film distance film manufacture the assign type designation number of film each film holder singular double wall exposure <coughs> that is number of film in each cassette that is for multi multi film if it is used singular double wall beam singular double wall exposure and uh, and we have review form the listing of each radiograph location the information required by inclusion of information on the review form by reference to an attached radiographic technique details it evaluation disposition the materials or well the examination identification name manufacturer's representative who perform the final acceptance of the radiograph Date of manufacture evaluation. Okay, another thing uh, that I think so. Let us see. It's location marker.
me a technique, single wall technique. In the single wall technique, the radiation passes through only one wall of the build material, which is viewed for acceptance on the radiograph. In double wall technique. But double one and single wall being a double wall technique. So when it is not practical to use a single wall technique, one of the following double wall technique shall be used. Single wall being double wall, single wall being double wall technique. So for materials and material welds in the component, a technique may be used in which the radiation passes through two walls and only the weld material on the film side wall is viewed for acceptance on the radiograph. When complete coverage is required for circumferential weld materials, the minimum three exposures is required to each other shall be met. So minimum is three, not maximum. Maximum is maybe four. It depends on the density variation. You have to check the density variation and uh, you have to do it. Then double well being so double well being is up to materials and welds in components three and half, half inch, 89 mm or less. Nominal outside diameter technique may be used in which radiation passes through two walls and the weld material in both walls is used in acceptance the same radiograph or double well being. Only source side IQI shall be used. For welds, Radiation beam may be offset from the plane of weld at an angle sufficient to separate the image of source side and film side portion of the weld so that there is no overlap of areas to be interpreted. When complete coverage is required, minimum two exposure is required. So double weld being there is two types, this is uh, 90 degree to each other, shall made for each joint, or alternative, what is there? The weld may be radiographed with the radiation beam position to that the image of the both walls are superimposed. So if you're superimposing, then complete coverage is required. Minimum of three ex exposures taken at either 60 degree or 120 degree to each other, shall be made for each joint. Additional exposures shall be made if the required radiographic coverage cannot be obtained using a minimum number of exposure indicated in 1 and 2. So that you have to remember. So UG is F, FD into FD by D. F is the source size. D, small d is the distance from source side of weld. Or object being radiographed. Source side of the weld or object being radiographed to the film. And by D, that is distance from source of radiation to weld or object being radiographed. B and D shall be determined at the approximate center area of the area of interest.
to a QA selection. The thickness on which the IQ is based is nominal single well material thickness plus the weld reinforcement thickness estimated to be present in both sides of the weld ID and OD. The values used for the estimated weld reinforcement thickness shall be representative of weld condition and shall not exceed the maximum permitted by the code. Referencing code section. Physical measurement of the actual weld reinforcement is not required. Baking rings or strips shall not be considered as part of thickness in IQI selection. Weld without reinforcement. Thickness on which IQI is based on the nominal single weld material thickness. Baking rings or strips shall not be considered part of that. Actual values with regards to AB above the actual material weld thickness measured IQI measure. Blah blah should. A well joining dissimilar materials, weld in dissimilar filler metal. There is no problem, same way. Source side IQI. The IQI shall be placed on the source side of the part being examined except for the condition described in B. The IQI on the source side of the separate block shall be placed no closer than the film that the source side of the part being radiographed. The separate block shall be you know. the whole type IQI is used. The block dimensions shall exceed IQI dimensions so that the outline of the least three sides of the IQI image shall be visible on the radiograph. Film side IQIs where inaccessibility prevents and placing the IQI on the source side. The IQI shall be placed on the film side in contact with the part being examined. A lead letter F shall be placed adjacent to or the IQIs but shall not mask the essential hole where whole IQIs are used. The placement already we see. So, IQI placement for whole IQIs adjacent to the belt. Identification numbers and uh, when used, the lead letter F shall not be in the area of interpretation if it is used. For wire type IQIs, this transfers to the longitudinal axis of the belt. The IQI identification and values to lead letter F shall not be in the area of interest. So IQI placement for materials other than welds, the IQI, the IQI identification and the, when used the lead letter F may be placed on the area of interest. Number of IQIs, multiple IQIs, for cylindrical components where the source is placed in the axis of the component for the single exposure. So at least three IQIs spaced approximately 120 degrees apart are required under the following condition. The complete circumference of the radiograph using one or more film holders. In the section of sections of the circumference where the length between the ends of a outermost section span 240 or more degrees radiographed using one or more film holders. Additional film locations may be required to obtain necessary accurate spacing. For cylindrical components uh, where the source is placed on the axis of the component, a single exposure, at least three IQIs is required. So for sections of circumference of the length 
which is greater than 120 degree less than 240 degrees rev up in just one film under or the section is sections of circumference where length between the ends of outermost section span less than 240 degree is radiographed using more than one film under. So any others you have to use multiple. So just remember when it is for circumferential, okay. Otherwise you have to use single, single, single. For the spherical component where the source is placed at the center of component for a single exposure, at least three IQS with one placed each end of the span of the circumference radiographed. We want the approximate center of the span are required under the following condition. So there are sensitivity, IQ sensitivity is required. Essential wear, essential hole, essential hole 2T, essential wear already as per thickness, you already, you have to check as per this table, so this is the table, if film side, if source side IQI, so what is the requirement, which wire help, you have to see what 2T hole, which one you have. You have to see this 40 tau. So you have to see 2T hole. Okay, gentlemen, we'll stop here.